on a pay as you go basis uh, uh, model okay so that means what that means uh, let's say you are working in an IT company and that IT company is working on an IT project and that requires a server okay so that requires a server see now uh, there are two ways in which you can get a server okay you can go to computer hardware shop and you can buy a server and you can uh, right so you can bring it to your uh, uh, organ office and you can make it to operation and then you can use okay now lot of headache is there you have to pay upfront uh, money to buy server and then you have to also okay you have to also uh spend a lot of money on this right followed by that you have to spend a lot of uh, effort to make it operation right so this is one approach another approach is um, there are companies like aws right so they have plenty of servers available with them. So what you can do is you can request them for a server for a specific time period. Now, let's say this project is there for only three months, right? So you need servers only for three months. Then what you can do is you can request AWS and say, I need uh, a server for a duration of three months. And I will be paying, uh, okay, I will be paying for uh, that uh, server, okay? as and when I use it, right? So they will tell, okay, you take this server, use it and pay us rent only, no need of buying this server. And now all your IT project will be done in this server. You may be sitting in any part of the world, okay? You may be sitting in London and you may be using a laptop, right? And you can connect to this server and you can do your IT project on this server, correct? So now you are sitting in London, your server may be in New Jersey. Okay. And you may be working on, uh, okay, you may be working on um, uh, certain project. So now in regular setup, when you bring a server to your office or organization, then computing will be done in that server, which is present in your organization. Okay. Whereas when you use a server which is present in the cloud, okay, which is present in the cloud, computing is done in different place. You may be sitting in London, your server may be in New Jersey, but when you do some activity which is called as computing, it will be done in a different place, okay. Now this is called as cloud computing. In cloud computing, servers will be somewhere else and you will be somewhere else and computing will be done in a server which is far away from you, okay? That kind of computing, we call it as cloud computing. Clear money and uh, adigo, the meaning of cloud computing. Yes. Fine, uh, adigo, any confusion, you can let me know. I will, thank you. So basically cloud computing refers to doing certain tasks in a server which is far away from us, okay? So not in our place, okay? That is called as uh, cloud uh, computing. <laughs> now, what is the difference, right? So difference, so now this is referring to, uh, the first column uh, is referring to on-premise computing. On-premise means what? Bring the server to your organization and then do the setup and use it. And this refers to cloud computing here, second one. So expense. If you are going with on-premise setup, you have to invest a lot, okay? You have to buy a server and then you have to pay for that everything. But if you go with cloud computing, no need of doing any upfront payment. You can rent the server and pay only for that duration, okay? Uh, that's it, nothing more than that. Space requirement, if you are using, uh, okay, if you are using a server in your organization, then you need a lot of space to keep it. If you're using cloud computing, then you don't have to maintain server in your office. You can, it will be maintained in AWS or Azure office. So you can save a lot of space. Maintenance, if you have server in your office, you have to take care of maintenance. If you are having server in AWS or Azure uh, data centers, they will take care, okay? Data recovery, since maintaining your own data center is very, very expensive and difficult, so people maintaining multiple data centers is a challenge. So 
if you have only one data center which is on premise one then if if something goes wrong in that office then what will happen is uh, you will lose uh, okay you will lose all the data whereas cloud they have multiple setup if you take aws they have around 20 plus data centers right so when they have 20 plus data centers you can keep your backup in any of these data centers if one data center goes down you can recover from other data center flexibility on premise lack of flexibility here you will get high flexibility okay you can get thousands of servers over a mouse click and also you can surrender thousands of servers over a mouse click but that is not the case with on premise if you need thousand servers you have to pay money you have to bring you have to make them operational okay it's it's it's, it's a big challenge updates no automatic updates you have to take care whereas in cloud computing they will take care okay yeah? So these are some of the differences between on-premise computing and cloud computing. Is it clear uh, to both of you? Yes. So, so the server is uh, maintained by the cloud owners? Yes. Okay, cloud okay. owners. So they have really physical servers, right? Yes, physical servers. Okay. On top of that, they will install virtualization software. Okay, I will tell that later on. Okay. <laughs> Clear till here. So next, so cloud vendors uh, offer two types of models. Okay, there are two or uh, not uh, vendors. There are two cloud computing models present, which are those. One is called as deployment model, and another one is called as a service model. Okay, so there are two types of models. One is deployment model, and another one is a uh, service uh, model. Now, what is the difference between deployment model and service model, right? So now deployment model talks about who can access the cloud, okay? Now cloud is nothing but a physical setup where lot of servers are present, okay? And other IT infrastructure will be present, okay? Like networking devices and other IT uh, infrastructure will be present. Now, based on who can access this setup, Right. Who can access this particular setup? There are three models, public model, public cloud, private cloud, and hybrid cloud. Now, what is public cloud? Now, it is a cloud where the IT infrastructure is present and it can be accessible by anyone. I, if, you, if you want to use this server, you can use, okay? If I want to use these servers, I can also connect and I can also use it, okay? So like this, anyone basically can access servers and other IT infrastructure present here, okay? Now, this kind of uh, setup, which can be basically accessed by anyone is called as public cloud. Clear the meaning of public cloud? Cloud is What's a, uh, Can you give us any example for the public cloud, uh, like a Google or YouTube? Yeah. No, no, YouTube and like that. So now if you see, uh, AWS is a cloud provider, okay? Right, AWS is a cloud provider. Similarly, Azure is a cloud provider, right? GCP is a cloud provider, okay? So they have a lot of infrastructure here, okay? So what basically they have is, so they have servers and other IT infrastructure. Now, if you want to use uh, servers, what you have to do, you have to create an account in AWS or Azure or GCP. Then using that account, you can use servers which are present in these clouds, okay? You can use, um, I mean, uh, you can connect, you can create an account in AWS, then you will be able to access and use servers uh, as per your requirement. There are a hundred plus types of servers okay, present in these clouds. You can use any of them. So this is you, right? And if I also try to access, right? I will also be able to access servers, okay? Now these kind of uh, setups or clouds are called as a public cloud. Clear now? We'll create it later on, okay? Now I'm just introducing the terminology. Later on we'll we will be doing everything hands on. We will be creating the account. Then we will be using the, and we will be accessing servers. Everything is your question answered? 
I mean, uh, so what I I'm trying to say is, uh, hmm. the private servers are like a AWS and Azure and GPC is as considered as a private uh, cloud, right? No, no, no. These are public cloud providers. Okay, okay, okay. So these so are... private cloud provide uh, cloud is considered. Uh, how can we what we can consider as it? See, uh, public. This is now I'm calling it as public cloud. Okay, now let's say that. Uh, here is another cloud it is maintained by a company called as abc okay right and again here inside lot of servers and it infrastructure is present right now this is um, this is the cloud maintained by a company called as abc right now the servers and it infrastructure present here can be accessed by only employees of company ABC. Understood? ABC is a company and ABC company is having, uh, let's say, three employees. Employee one, employee two, employee three. Okay? ABC is accessed by, uh, ABC company has three employees. Only employee one, okay, can access the servers present here only employee two can access only employee three can access okay employee one employee two employee three and if i try to access let's say this is me if i try to access the servers present here it will not permit okay that means this cloud is a private cloud which is dedicated to company abc and it is created and managed by themselves only now, this kind of cloud is called as private cloud, which can be accessed by limited persons or selected or group of persons. Clear? Or any question you can ask now? Yes, sir, it's a clear. So, what is the difference between public and private? So, these are the clouds. Uh, one cloud public means anyone can access. Private means uh, a selected persons or group of persons can access okay <clears throat> fine uh, both of you edigo is it clear for you mm, i think public cloud is like aws azure yes and um, but private cloud is a cloud yeah example wide. of private cloud is uh, usa uh, or okay, USA uh, go to de USA government has a defense department, right? Mm -hmm. So defense uh, department, uh, okay, they have their own uh, infrastructure, okay, IT. They they have their own cloud, which can be basically accessed by only US government uh, defense uh, department uh, uh, personnel, right? So, that so is they have their own cloud like AWS? Yeah, 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 like AWS. They have their own cloud setup. Okay. Ooh. So, uh, do they get the cloud from AWS or they just... Uh, they see there are multiple ways. USA government can create their own cloud, okay? And they can give access to their employees only, okay? Okay, got it. Or Thank they you can so ask AWS. Uh, they can request AWS. We want a private cloud for us can you create it and give it to us mm -hmm. so aws will create exclusive cloud for usa cloud defense and this exclusive cloud provided by aws can be only accessed by us government, uh, government mm -hmm. defense department employees okay okay i have a question mm -hmm. for example in our company there is aws mm -hmm. is it private or sir Yours will be, uh, you are what kind of organization yours? Uh, it's just private company. Ah, then it is, they're using public AWS cloud only, okay? Thank you, I got it. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, um, see, uh, see, public doesn't mean that any, see, in public, right, let's say that your company is doing some project, okay? And for that, let's say they took 100 AWS servers. Now, these 100 AWS servers will be dedicated only for you, okay, your organization only, right? So, I can't access these 100 servers. Lot of security uh, mechanisms are inbuilt there. 
So public doesn't mean that 100 servers, which is allocated to your organization, can be accessed by anyone. No, okay, that is not possible. If that is the case, uh, uh, nothing works, right? Money and uh, adigo. So public mm -hmm. cloud in the sense that uh, public cloud means you can get 100 servers and that 100 servers are dedicated only for your organization. Others cannot touch also because there are security mechanisms built around that. They will share the credentials, everything. Only your organization people can uh, use those 100 servers inside AWS cloud. Okay. But the, inside this cloud, there are thousands of servers. Okay. Remaining servers, anyone who want can... Uh, uh, can create account and use, but your 100 servers are dedicated exclusively for you inside AWS public cloud. Is that clear, money and uh, Adibu? Yes, yes it's clear. So, even AWS Azure also provide private cloud, okay, depending on the request, okay, depending on the budget, but private clouds are expensive compared to public cloud keep that in mind okay because they have to create everything separately for private cloud okay so as per the requirement so then uh, cost will go up at that time whereas public cloud all right so they will not create any public cloud exclusive for anyone okay it is a general cloud but all if you look at more big big firms they all use aws public cloud okay so everything is secured only so public cloud does not mean that your application can be accessed by anyone no 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 okay so that never happens okay so only thing is uh, uh, it is not entire setup is not dedicated to one person or one organization it is given to multiple organizations and multiple uh, this one <laughs> Okay, so uh, so basically, just understand one thing here. What is the difference? And right? so, difference. Do not get confused. The meaning of public is okay, and meaning of private. Okay, so now, for example, uh, banks. Okay, so bank, right? So, city bank or uh, any big JP Morgan, okay. So we call it as public bank, right? So public means what? Anyone can open account, anyone can use facilities provided by Citibank, correct? So it is uh, open to public. Now, what is the meaning of private? If I say Citibank as private means, maybe uh, let's say it is it is a bank that is that can be used by only a selected group of persons, okay? Let's say person one person two person three but bank remains bank but only thing is what the access to this bank is given to only these three persons okay public means uh, for everyone right in this world this bank is open right so what is the facility offered inside remains same bank we will offer saving account current account right they will give loan everything is same but only difference is what so the, the the accessibility who can access this bank who cannot access this bank will determine whether it is public or private okay clear till here both of you yes sir. just a terminology nothing uh, much in that uh, i guess so then the hybrid cloud is there, right? Now, what do you mean by uh, a hybrid uh, cloud, right? So what is the meaning of, uh, <clears throat> right? So what is the meaning of uh, hybrid cloud? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, no issues. Mm. <clears throat> oh, give me one second. Okay, now hybrid cloud means, okay, now let's say that <clears throat> there is an IT company. Okay, just uh, understand the terminology. Okay, so uh, assume that uh, uh, Kirti, uh, did you join just now? 
Yes, sir. Okay, get the. So if you don't understand, let me know. Okay, we just started discussion around okay. thirty minutes back. Okay. Um, okay. Now where we were? Kirti, are you working or a student? Working, sir. Okay. In which field? Actually, data science. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, what is hybrid cloud? Okay, now let's say that there is an IT company. Okay, so now let's say that uh, some. Okay, so um, let's say Deloitte. Okay, so now Deloitte. Let's say that they got one uh, multi-million dollar uh, uh, project. Okay, so they got a million dollar uh, project, and this project requires, uh, let's say, how many? Now, um, let us say that it requires uh, around uh, 500 servers, okay? So, right, so they need how many? Uh, 500 uh, servers, right? So, Deloitte requires uh, how many servers? Deloitte requires uh, 500 uh, servers. Now, Deloitte is having their own internal uh, cloud setup, okay? So, they have their own internal uh, cloud setup where they have uh, 200 servers because Deloitte is there in the business from many years. They have their own uh, IT infrastructure setup where 200 servers are present, okay? So now, uh, now how many servers are required for uh, this project? 500 servers, right? Now Deloitte has their own, uh, their own setup, okay? Their own cloud setup where it is having 200 servers okay so now uh, deloitte uh, does not want to waste these servers right so they want to use these uh, 200 servers okay so they want to use these 200 servers because it is lying inside their uh, cloud so they will use 200 from here for another remaining um, okay for another uh, remaining 300 they will approach uh, aws okay they will use uh, AWS and they will uh, take remaining 300 servers from AWS. Okay. Now, this Deloitte cloud is a private cloud. Okay. It is a private cloud dedicated to Deloitte only. Okay. It's a private cloud, whereas AWS is a public cloud. Right. Now, what I'm using here, I'm using combination of private cloud and public cloud correct i'm using combination of a private cloud and public cloud now this is called as hybrid cloud hybrid cloud is what it is a combination of private cloud and public cloud okay hybrid cloud is a combination of what it is a combination of uh, private cloud and public cloud Right, so this is the meaning of hybrid cloud. Clear any question or any confusion? Let me know the meaning of hybrid cloud. It's clear, but um, so companies choose this kind of uh, yeah, cloud. Yeah, they can. Yeah, they can choose also. Okay, so uh -huh. so <clears throat> they can utilize their in existing infrastructure also. Okay, uh -huh. along with the uh, 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 other required infrastructure from other cloud vendors. Clear? Okay. Yes. So this is uh, we call it as uh, hybrid. When it's private cloud, is the servers owned by the companies? Yes, servers will be owned by respective companies, right? So these servers are owned by Deloitte these servers are owned by aws right yeah but why do we call it, call it private then like it looks like um, private uh, how do you why do you call it as private because it is um it is accessible only by deloitte employees yeah, right? but what i mean is what is the difference between a private cloud and on-prem service servers see uh, private cloud uh, so do not compare 
private and public with on premise just compare cloud with on premise okay this is the proper comparison actually okay mm -hmm. all right so you can compare cloud with cloud and on premise right so uh, cloud setup you can compare cloud setup with on premise setup mm -hmm. right so you don't compare private cloud with the on premise or public cloud okay so you can compare private and public right now what is the difference between on premise and cloud setup right now the difference here is right so on premise means uh, everything you will do by yourself okay the meaning of on premise setup is what so you need you are working on it let's say um, you are working on an it project okay uh, let's say there is a company called as abc it is working on an it project correct they are working on an it project right and uh, this it project requires let's say 100 servers now what is the meaning of on premise setup now these 100 servers this company abc company which is which requires this 100 servers can be purchased by company abc they can go to computer hardware shop and they can buy 100 servers and let's say this is their office okay their premise okay abc company premise they will bring mm -hmm. all these 100 servers here okay and they will make it uh, operational and then they will use for their uh, it project clear now this is called as on premise setup or and on premise computing okay so any any uh, activity done with this servers is called as on premise computing right now cloud means what now this abc requires 100 servers what is the first approach first approach is going to the computer hardware shop buying uh, buying 100 servers bring it to your office abc company office assume that you are working in abc company okay now currently you are working right assume that you are working for company abc right so the, you will bring all 100 servers to your office you will make it operation and then you will use for your it project this is called as on premise computing is it clear now this one term now what is cloud computing now instead of buying these 100 servers what you will do you will uh, you know that already aws is having servers with them correct <laughs> Now you will tell AWS, I need, let's say this project is only for uh, three months. Okay, you mm -hmm. need servers only for three months. Now what you will do with, uh, after three months, what you will do with these servers? They are waste, right? Now you will uh, go with plan B. In plan B, what you will do, you will do is, you will think, okay, uh, in the market, there are companies like AWS, Azure, right? Right? gcp right so these companies are there they already have millions of servers with them okay right so millions of servers are available with them right now what you will do you will think like this okay now uh, let me do one thing uh, i will consult aws or I will contact AWS and I will tell I need 100 servers for a duration of three months and I will be paying rent for those servers. I will not buy, okay? <clears throat> Clear? You will not buy. So then AWS says, okay, take, we have, take, these are 100 servers. I will give it to you, okay? They will tell, okay? So take these 100 servers. It will be in their office only. You will be connecting to this server from your office and you will be using it for doing your IT project. Now, this is called as cloud computing. Clear? This is on premise computing. This is cloud computing. Is these two terms clear for you? Yes. Thank you. Now, this cloud computing is there, right? Because see, here where computing is happening in your office only, because servers are present in your office only. Whereas here, this is your office. Let's say your office is in uh, London, right? And these servers are present in New Jersey. 
correct in on premise computing you and your servers will be uh, next to each other correct whereas in cloud computing your servers will be present in somewhere else you will be somewhere else right and uh, computing is happening here so that is why we call it as cloud computing now this cloud computing uh, th this is called as cloud okay this setup is called as cloud we call this as what cloud now this cloud can be of uh, the three types okay so this cloud can be uh, okay so basically it can be of three types one is public cloud another one is private cloud okay another one is hybrid cloud clear till here everyone is it clear so this cloud yes. can be public, private, or hybrid. Now, when I say this cloud public means what? There are 1,000 or 1 million servers. Okay, there are 1,000 servers here. Okay, so public cloud means what? Now your company ABC is using 100 servers. Let's say another company is there XYZ, which also requires servers. Now this can also use, let's say they need uh, 500 servers, right? they can also use servers which are present here clear similarly let's say that i this is me okay i need one server for my project i can also create an account in aws and i can request one server they will provide it to me on rent okay similarly let's say this is uh, money this is kirti right so any of these persons can contact AWS and they can request required servers and they can use it. Okay. So that means basically anyone in this world. Okay. Adigo, Kirti, Mani, Me, company called as Infosys, company called as ABC, company yes. called as XYZ. Everyone can access this cloud. Okay. Now this kind of cloud which can be accessed by anyone in this world is called as public cloud. Is this terminology clear to everyone? Yes. Yes, sir. Everyone fine till here? Any confusion now? No, sir. It's clear. So now when we call this as private cloud, right? Now, see, cloud means uh, it's a setup, right? Where they use virtualization technology, we'll see that later on. Now, same kind of cloud, okay? Let's say that um, this cloud, now anyone can access, okay? Now what I will do, I will not allow anyone to access this cloud. I will make sure that uh, only three persons, okay? Let's say uh, Joe Biden, right? Then uh, Narendra Modi, okay? Let's say that this cloud can be accessed by only two persons, Joe Biden and Nar Narendra Modi, correct? Now, if you try to access, you will not be able to access this cloud. That means any resource present here. ABC cannot access, XYZ cannot access. That means it is it is dedicated to only two persons, correct? Now, this kind of cloud whose accessibility, accessibility is limited to certain persons or certain company is called as private cloud, okay? Private cloud means what? It is a cloud setup which, can, which will have limited uh, accessibility okay limited persons can access that cloud so based on who can access or or uh, who can access we can divide a cloud into public or private or let's say this cloud can be accessed by only us defense uh, department or us defense department or us government employees government employees okay us government white house employees then we call it as private cloud okay so private cloud is nothing but a cloud which can be accessed only by selected persons or a group of persons is it clear now difference between public cloud and private cloud yes sir fine everyone ready go yes so now hybrid cloud is what right so it's a see private cloud anyone can have okay so i can also create my own cloud and if I don't give access to anyone, it is nothing but a private cloud, okay? Or if I give access to only few persons. 
So now most of these big, big IT companies, right? You take uh, Infosys, right? Deloitte, they have their own cloud setup, okay? They have their own cloud setup internally, right? So because they are into this business, they have a lot of hardware. So they have their own cloud setup, right? So along with that, if they use any public cloud provided by AWS or Azure or GCP, then it is called as hybrid cloud. Okay, so that is how that is the difference between uh, on-premise and cloud. So you can compare on-premise with the cloud computing, on-premise computing with cloud computing, but do not compare on-premise with the public, private, and hybrid. Okay, that is a different thing, right? So these three things can be compared with each other in the context of only cloud, okay, not in the context of uh, on-premise. Is it clear, uh, everyone? If it is clear, I will stop here. Okay, so it's nine o'clock. Um, uh, any questions you can ask. We'll continue from here tomorrow, same time. Is that okay? Yes, but how do we get notification for? Uh, yeah, class? you filled uh, that form, right? They will reach to you. Okay, so tomorrow also same time. Uh, uh, okay, so IST the starts IST 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Okay, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. is the session IST. Okay, come convert it into IST. I'm talking in IST. Okay, so same time uh -huh. you will have session and they will, uh, yeah, uh, mail you or something, they will contact you. Is that okay? Is it a formal class or demo? Uh, it is regular class okay now we started yesterday so we'll continue now with the regular thank sessions you. All right. okay. Thank you. okay then uh money kirti and uh Adigo. i'll stop here we'll continue uh, tomorrow same time 8 a.m ist okay from here on okay okay thank you i'll stop here it's time bye thank you sir. So, any any bye, questions sir. anyone Yes, sir. Uh, so fees related. Uh, yeah, they will contact. Vehicles, yeah, they will contact you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah.